Hello guys, I'm uh, Liviu and um, today I want to talk to you about a little experiment uh, I did on the TBS uh, Crossfire Micro Transmitter. I was uh, just surprised when I uh, was uh, studying the topology they used and uh, found out that uh, they actually used a separated uh, RF power amplifier for 100 milliwatts, which um, is pretty strange because the um, transceiver they are using, the Semtex 1272, is actually capable of um, 20 dBm which is around 100 milliwatts. So yeah, it was just uh, too crazy for me and I didn't understand it. I tried uh, to ask them and they said that uh, they will not uh, make it uh, more powerful. So um, as an experiment, I uh, just wanted to, to fool around with it and see what I can do. So this is uh, the radio frequency part of the TBS uh, micro transmitter. Uh, we have uh, two signal paths here. We have the receiving path here, which goes to this uh, RF switch. And we have the transmitting uh, signal path here. The first thing I uh, wanted to do is uh, replace this chip because uh, NXP does three versions of the same footprint. This one, which is uh, 250 milliwatts, another one, which is um, 500 milliwatts, and um, the bigger one, which is one watt. I tried to to replace this one with the one watt uh, and see what's happening. And that was a total failure because I had to modify a lot of things on the output and the input. So yeah, that uh, went down. Uh, I came back to this one because the 500 milliwatts I could not find to purchase. And after that I said to myself, uh, why not try and uh, release this uh, puppy's uh, full potential, which is uh, 250 milliwatts. And uh, to do that, I followed the TX uh, path, so the signal uh, starts from here, goes to a series of uh, inductors and the uh, capacitor for matching. And when I arrived here, I noticed something very interesting. If you look here, we have three little resistors. One is here to the ground, one is here in series, and another one here to the ground again. So this here actually is an uh, attenuator, and from my calculations is uh, attenuating around 9 dB or something. This was the first uh, change I did. The original values were like 70 ohms for these two and 40 ohms for this one. And from my calculations, I changed this two to around 1.5K. So that um, reduced the attenuation by six dB, I guess. So now this attenuator does a three dB of attenuation. Okay, so the next thing I uh, did was uh, look up the data sheet for this uh, BGA7124 and there is this little uh, resistor here which is um, limiting the supply current for the power amplifier and in the test circuit in the data sheet you will find that they are um, recommending this value around the uh, five to six uh, hundred ohms. I uh, changed this uh, resistor to 700 ohms. It was like 2K. And after that, I went um, and tested the, the crossfire first uh, on the 25 uh, milliwatt setting in the firmware. And that uh, gave me actually around 48, 50 milliwatts, not 25. And on the 100 milliwatts of power, it put out around 220 or 230 milliwatts. And uh, yeah, I was uh, pretty happy about uh, the result. I don't want to eliminate this attenuator here for not uh, overstressing the power amplifier. Uh, this uh, was my little experiment uh, with the TBS Crossfire micro transmitter. If uh, some of you have uh, any questions or uh, you have uh, any other ideas or uh, info, just uh, leave them in the comments below. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope uh, this was helpful. Don't uh, forget to subscribe and like and uh, see you next time. Bye.